Hello everybody, and welcome back to the dev blog, episode 4. Today we are looking at, um, the hand, actually. I know, super creative, right? Like, wow, so cool. But, the reason we're looking at this is because, uh, this is actually something you may want to potentially override in a mod for some other reason this doesn't necessarily have to be just um you know just the four if you're making your own sub game you can override this from any mod as long as the mod depends on default because it will register your item of nothing after it registers the original nothing and then you can change everything what we're going to be focusing on in this video though is group caps i didn't even know these were a thing until I did this. And I was like, whoa, this is so cool. I need to do a video on it. So let's jump into the sub game here. And uh, sure, let's go ahead and use devblog02. Now, let me just uh, use my hand here. It doesn't matter if I'm holding a node because it's not a tool, so it just uses the hand and you see that I'm doing dirt here and it's breaking. You know, that's cool. And sand's breaking. And if I go out to the stone here, stone's breaking too. Alright, so nothing nothing too special here is really going on. But let's take a look at what's actually doing that. So the item here, you know, the hand, uh, has tool capabilities. And it has full punch interval. So that's pretty much how much time you have to wait between punches. I don't think we're really going to notice any change. Wait, there we go. If I change that. Because I'm nothing here is breakable with one punch. So we don't notice a change from that. That was at point 0.9. But if you had mobs, if you put the full punch interval to lower, you can punch the mob more often. Max drop level of zero, I honestly don't know what that means. Sorry. I will uh I'll learn more about it later. I also don't know what these max levels mean. I'm sure it's all on the wiki. But what I really wanted to focus on was the group caps. Uh, I should probably open up um not that nodes. Here we go. Alright, so I have stone which belongs to cracky and is set to level three so let's just for fun change cobble to be cracky and we'll change it to level four and then in here we have cracky now these are all just tables and we have a time and the time has can have multiple values like for crumbly we have a value set for things that are set to crumbly two and crumbly three uh for cracky we only have one right now which is set to a number three but let's make another one so all we have to do is put a comma here square brace and we'll put a number four in and equals 0.10 oh it doesn't have to have the trailing ohm but that's what everything else is using so i'm just gonna stick with that and let's go ahead and save this and uh see what happens now when we drag cobble versus stone so, stone's going pretty quick there. Let's put some cobble out. Wow, cobble goes really quick. So I must have set the cobble to be number four. So that digs in a tenth of a second, whereas the stone is digging in four tenths of a second. Also, you'll notice that snow doesn't fall. Which, uh, I don't know how that works in the game, but I need to kind of uh, copy that functionality. I could just make these snows a falling node. That honestly would be the easiest way to do it. And hey, this is a dev blog, so let's do that right now, actually. That would be this one, so we just want to add it to the group. Is it called falling node? Sure is. Falling node equals one. I don't... So what gravel uses falling node level one. I don't know if there's any difference to what levels you set it at. 
Guess we're going to find out, though. Hey, they fell. Hey, it fell. Cool. Well, that works well. Let's see what happens if I change this to falling node 2. I don't... Like, would that make him fall at different speeds or something? A different delay... I don't know that... I didn't notice any difference at all. And it's very possible that it doesn't care what the level is. It just checks if it has the falling node and then makes it fall. Which is very possible. Okay, well, point one is really, really fast. So let's change that to point three. And go ahead and... So we have cobble. No, I wonder if that's backwards. So crumbly two takes three. So the lower the number, the longer it takes to dig. That's kind of weird. But okay, that's that's fine. Oddly breakable by hand. Yep, the higher the number, the faster it digs. Okay, so then I'm doing the right thing. But I'm wondering, why is this starting at level 3? Why don't I use a cracky at level 1? I don't know. I may change that. I may change all these to start at level 1. Like, I don't see any advantage to starting them at higher numbers. I can't imagine it would make any difference. Oh, then, of course, I'd have to go through all of these and change their groups. But okay, so we have... Uh, yeah, that looks good here. Use is a zero because it's infinite. So if we change this to use is 10, just for fun, I think this is going to make the hand wear out. Which, uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Let's see what happens. Okay, that's four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10. Uh, it seemingly didn't wear out. Very interesting. Alright then, I don't know... I don't really know what that's for. Max level, I'm not sure on either. Because I don't know where that is ever set up. Like, I know in Mind Test Game, which let's go ahead and open. I think I have that. Oh, I don't? No worries. It's a dev blog. It doesn't need to be professional. User share. Whoa, not me. Aren't we common? Mind Test. Am I in the wrong place? User share. Games Mind Test? Nope. But I do have fortunes. User share. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm such an idiot. Because I uninstalled my test because I'm building it myself now. So it's in my home folder. Um, it was a little for games. My test game. Mods default. Tools. Okay, so I know for a fact that the, or the wooden pickaxe has a max level of 2. Stone pickaxe has a max level of, or has a max level of one, has a max level of one. But the steel pickaxe has a max level of two. And Mies pickaxe has a max level of three. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what this, how this is working now. I think this is making sense. So. Unless I'm mistaken. With this being max level one. But see, that goes backwards. It doesn't make sense. Because if a wooden pickaxe has a max level of one, that would mean anything that has cracky of higher than one isn't breakable. Well, here's what we do. Whoops. Let's take a look at nodes here and find stone with gold. So I know the wooden pickaxe can't break that. It's in cracky two. And that's all it has. 
Golden block is cracky one. Which is kind of weird. Oh, wait. Can you get wood with a... Because here we have a level of two. Bronze block has level two. Tin block has level two. Tin was actually recently added. Well, by the time this video goes live, a month ago it was added to my test game. Level two. Cracky two. Cracky three. Hmm. So this would lead me to believe that I need to define a level. So let's go ahead and down here. And let's go ahead and do level equals two. Because, after all, I want to see if I can use my hand and break stone. If it's level two. Theoretically, if I'm... No, uh -huh, I can't. Now, cobblestone, I still should be able to. Yes. Okay, well, let's let's change something up further. Just to make sure this is actually doing what I think it's doing. And we're going to change that to be level 3. So the only difference between these two now is the level group. I can still break cobble. I still can't break stone. All right, beautiful. I learned something new while making this video. Love it. If I put a max level in, and then I put a level into a group, if the max level is lower than that level's number, I can't break it with that tool. This is this is phenomenal because this means I can put progression in. So your low tier tools can only do certain things. I can make certain materials. Um, for example, Technic comes to mind with the granite it has. I think it can only be broken with some tools. There's some that cannot break it because evidently they don't have a high enough level. So to test this even further, let me find the desert stone here. And let's go ahead and put level three in there. Level equals three. All right, and then I will change this to max level two. So now I have, I have a level three. I have a level two. Um, and you know what, just, just to make sure everything's working as we expect it to, let's put level one into the cobble. Theoretically, there'd be no point to ever put level one in because everything has to have at least level one possible to break. So stone we can break. That's good. Desert stone we can't. Let's try cobble. Cobble we can break. Very cool. Well, folks, you just learned how to use levels to make progression. And of course, you would use the same thing for registering your tools. In fact, if we look at the tools here, you'll see it has the exact same code. Tool capabilities, tool capabilities, full punch interval, how much time you need to wait between punches, or between the beginning of one punch and the beginning of the next. I really don't know where it's measuring its interval from. Max drop level, I'm not really sure what that means, because I've, I've never really seen that. And then we have our group caps, which in most cases are... Um, usually just to one thing because your tool is usually meant for one style of note to break. Now it should be noted that, and I don't know how the maths work on this, um, this, it says you have 20 uses to a steel pick, but a steel pick can break more than 20 pieces of ore. And I think that has something to deal with these numbers, but I don't know how that all actually works out. Let's take a look at the dev wiki and see if it says anything. I don't know if it does, because I hadn't looked. Yep, that's my password, folks. Compiling mind test? No, we don't really want compiling mind test. We want uh, group caps. I did not want to dash between the P and the S. It's so stupid. Okay, there's nothing there. Well, that's 
It's not surprising, actually. Development tools? No, I don't really want that. Let's see about this. Tool repair is if you add two tools together. Well, that's that's handy, but it doesn't really help me at all. And this is what happens when you don't have when you don't have paid people to do this stuff. You rely on volunteers. And if people don't care, uh, stuff doesn't happen. Okay, so digging time groups. It says rating between 1 and 3. Higher ratings result in slower digging. Of course, as we just seen, we can make that bigger. Uh, oddly breakable hand. Uh, with some different times. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Oozing. Yeah. Realistic suffocation. Slime blocks and liquids. Slimy. <laughs> what? Uh, well, that's. Oh. That's probably stuff for other games or something. Man, I'm really disappointed that there's nothing more about the tools here on the wiki. Register craft. Oh, wait. Registered tools? Well. List of registered tools, definitions, index my name. Thanks a lot, Wiki. That helps me immensely. Um. Yeah, I really. Well, may, let's just try. Maybe register tool will have something. Example, but it doesn't tell me what any of this stuff means. Article is incomplete. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would say it is. Months. Well, that's not helpful. Well, let's try max drop level. Ooh, well, it doesn't help me. I don't know what that means. Damage system. Okay. This is old. M, you don't want to know. <laughs> Okay, so the old damage system, tool, group caps, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, mm -hmm. the new digging capabilities, max drop level, group caps, damage capabilities, hole punch interval, damage groups, damage calculation, damage for group, and caps damage group, gamut, damage plus equals cap damage groups group, Times actual interval divided. By, oh, well, that's just for damaging things, not nodes. Okay, well, I am sorry, but I have no idea how we use this max drop level. Max drop level. Yeah, because, like, if we look at the wood one here. It has a max drop level of zero. And it has a breaking level of one. But then our stone pickaxe has a max drop level of zero and a max level of one. So the stone and the wood are actually the exact same, other than stone's a little bit faster. Woohoo. We go up to steel, we have a max drop level of one and a max level of two. Well, what does this drop level do? Does anybody know? A Mies has a max drop level of 3. As does Diamond. If anybody knows what this max drop level bit is for, please let me know in the comments, because I have no idea. I should actually uh, ask on IRC, maybe, and see if there's not somebody that could lend me some informations. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, that's going to wrap this episode up because it's just been a lot of rambling, but I guess that's kind of, uh,
that's kind of what the dev blog is all about, you know? Just me figuring stuff out and making videos of it. Because why not? Well, that's that. If I do figure out what the max drop level is, I will uh, make sure that information's on my website and video description or someplace easily findable. And I will try to edit that wiki page so more people can know what's going on. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.